Hello! In this second video about lesson planning, we're going to talk to Aishwarya Kurana, who is an intern here at World Learning. And she, before, was an EFL teacher. So can you tell us, Aishwarya, um, what was the teaching context? Who were your students and what were you teaching? So back in India, I was teaching in a private school and uh, I was dealing with fourth graders and I was teaching, uh, teaching them English as a foreign language. Okay. And you told me a great story about a time when some issues of critical thinking and culture came up in your class. Can you tell our, our, our MOOC participants your story too? Yeah, so there was this uh, day when I was dealing with a story composition and I paired, paired up uh, the whole class and I asked them to uh, compose a story uh, mm -hmm. while working in those pairs and something weird happened, something surprising uh, to me that hap uh, happened was uh, there was this guy and uh, he told that I don't, I don't want to work with this girl because she is a Muslim and Muslims are bad. And in India, there is a huge Hindu-Muslim divide and that, that, uh, that, uh, that was how it came up. I knew that I have to deal with it because if it's happening in grade 4, it's going to like, persist persistently come up in, other, uh, in future also. So I just thought of dealing with it right there and right then. And, uh, I told those two people to sit, uh, to stop the work and sit at a corner and maybe talk to each other, talk about things that they like, things that they do, uh, things they don't like, and then come to me after 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. After a few minutes, I called both of them and I asked them to share their experience with the class and maybe tell them what did they learn about each other. And I knew that this is going to happen, and uh, so. This boy, he told me that there are few things that uh, are common between the uh, between those uh, between them, and uh, they like both uh, both of them like to play same games. Both of them like to watch same cart series of cartoons. Both of them uh, do some similar things like uh, going for uh, grocery shopping with their mothers, and there are few things that are different too. Like uh, they celebrate their festivals in a different way. Then they like different subjects, they have uh, different preferences over uh, di different food habits and everything. So I asked him, what did you learn about each other and what do you think about the activity? And that's when he told me that, so mo I was thinking that we, we both are different, but in a lot of aspects, we both are similar and uh, there are just few things that are different like religion, uh, food habits and certain preferences, but more or less we are similar. So that's when I realized that in when we are teaching, we sometimes don't expect certain things to happen, but they just happen in those moments and we have to make sure that as a teacher, I address those issues right there and right then at that very moment. That's great. That's great that you noticed that these were big classes too, yeah. right? Like yeah, so most of the Indian classes are like, they have a teacher to people ratio of 1 is to 40. So like, I had around 40 kids in my class. Wow. And so that was something that just came up. Yeah, it was just, it just came up and uh, at, then I realized that maybe I didn't prepare for it and next time when I'm preparing my lesson plans, I should focus on these aspects too, these, these subtle things too. And right after the class was over, I went and discussed this matter with other teachers and we just focused on bringing these issues up when we are planning our lessons. And there are other and so after that incident, I there were a few chapters on uh, sports and in those chapters, I raised issues like deliberately posed questions like, uh, I feel girls are better players and maybe boys are, boys are better at uh, cooking. So what do you think about it? So I used to pose these random questions. So these can spark some discussion in the classroom. And uh, without even me answering those questions, children, they come up with their experiences and their own thoughts and perspectives to it. And they just form their own opinion about it. And that sounds wonderful, but did you ever encounter like the students arguing when you did that kind of thing? Yeah, I think they argue a lot when they are uh, and they are kids. So as an adult, you might understand somebody's perspective, but they are kids, so it's a little tough for them to un understand that that people are different from them. But when they bring in their own uh, pers uh, ex personal experiences, like uh, a number of times, a few kids were like my father also cooks and my mother also plays with me so that is when you can easily instead of me telling those things to kids like my father cooks and my mother plays uh, badminton with me when the kids bring those things uh, during those discussions it makes more sense and they are more uh, inclined to associate with it 
so like that's why i encourage discussions and bringing these issues up so they don't uh, fight but it's essentially they just discuss things from their own perspectives and they at the end of the day they, they just agree with each other most of the times wow that sounds like a great practice um but how did you manage to add in these extra discussions when you had some other curriculum that you had to deal with so uh, they are because as a language teacher i am most of the time aware of what's happening in the class uh, what what other subjects they are dealing with and what what are the topics that are going on in those classes so like social studies when they are talking about festivals i can bring those discussions up in uh, like math if something is happening which is related to me or maybe in uh, in hindi language because in india uh, i was dealing with english and there were teachers who were dealing with hindi so if there there are certain chapters that they are dealing with and certain issues that can cover that can be dealt in uh, those chapters either i discuss with those teachers like maybe we can do this uh, if i am dealing with it in my classroom maybe you can deal with the same topic in your classroom and maybe if there is something in your chapter that's important to me if we just share those things and i deliberately bring those discussions up in the in the classroom oh that's a great idea to yeah. coordinate like that yeah. and i can see the connections mm-hmm. between the topics And how about you know you've got these forty students and they're all different and how do you address all of the different students' needs and where they are? So I think it's really important for us to begin from the uh, like during the pri- uh, from the primary classes and let children know that they they are not uh, like all of them are not same and there are few differences, gender based differences, religion based differences. So I whenever whenever I'm uh, grouping children. I just focus on uh, even though it's random I just make sure that uh, a boy a boy is working with a girl so every time the groups won't be same or the pairs won't be same I just focus that if the last time uh, this boy was was working with this girl next time he might work with some somebody else and while taking into account the different levels of learning uh, gender and all these pers- uh, different things I just group the kids Sounds like a lot of really great practices. So, thank you very much Aishwarya for sharing thank your you. story with us. Thank you so much. Bye.